In a recent video we had a look at Arctic's F12 fan in comparison to the P12. And although the fan was not bad from an absolute point of view, it was just not enough to dethrone the P12. Naturally, when I started the F14 benchmarks, I was expecting the same results in comparison to a P14. But I was wrong. This episode is brought to you by cdkeyoffers.com. CDKeyoffers has a wide variety of software or game keys for a fraction of their usual retail price. You can get your usual PC game codes or even library codes for things like Steam, Uplay and Origin. But the most important part for us are the software codes. Here we can get software activation codes for things like MS Office or Windows 10 for a ridiculously cheap price. And right now you can also use the promo code TS20 to get a 20% discount to make the already cheap Windows 10 license even cheaper. If you want to get that nasty activation message away, make sure to head down to the links in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TS20 for a 20% discount. Before we get to what I was wrong about, a quick reminder for those who have not watched the F12, P12 and P14 video. This is the Arctic F12 PVM PST 140mm case fan. Just like the other fans I just mentioned, there are a number of different versions of this fan. A standard 3-pin, a silent with reduced fan speed, a PVM version, a temperature controlled version, a PVM PST, so PVM with a daisy chain plug at the end, and a PVM PSTCO version, so PVM with daisy chain and built for constant operation. The one I got here today is the PVM PST version, so I can control it by using the 4-pin PVM header and I can pass through the connection to the next fan and continue to do so until I blow off my fan header. Just like every other Arctic F or P fan, the F14 is coming in a very tight box containing some stats when including the usual mining screws and the iconic iPhone shaped manual QR code. The conclusion of the F12 review was that it was just focused on moving air inside of a case. Sure, the F12 was more efficient at doing so compared to a P12, hence the greatly reduced fan speed, but if you focus on absolute performance or noise to performance ratio, it was just never good enough to outbeat a P12 in a single category. Now meet the 140mm version with the same 9 shorter and less bent wings, just like the smaller counterpart. So we started with our usual benchmarks instead of the Asa Hive case with two fans in the front and one in the top as exhaust with a Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim without any fan in order to maximize the fan benefit. At 100% fan speed, the F14 managed to keep the 3600X at 60 degrees C. Uh, okay. Outperforming the F12 by 6 degrees and the P14 by 1. Repeating the same test at 50% fan speed, the F14 ended up with 67 degrees C, this time outperforming the F12 by 13 degrees and the P14 by 8 degrees. At this point I questioned my results so I repeated the test with the P14s and then again with the F14s and again and again but no, no, my results are correct. And they should be, because I missed a small detail. My mistake was that I assumed that the F14 would compare to the F12 like the P14 does to the P12. But they don't. Looking at the spec sheets, the P12 spins at 1800 rpm while the P14 spins 100 rpm slower at 1700 rpm. The F12 and F14 however are spinning at the same 3050 rpm, making it impossible to assume their performance comparing them to the other two. And it's this non-reduction in fan speed that allowed the airflow efficient design to achieve an even higher CFM throughput placing the F14s at the first place of every Arctic F or P fan when it comes to airflow, which then naturally results in them outperforming every other Arctic fan, even the P14, that, that was unexpected, but quite cool. But that's not the whole picture, because it is still an F fan, and it is specifically built to just sit in there and like... So I repeated the same test we did on the F12 by installing the fan back on the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim and letting it spin at 20%. We started off at 100% PVM and slowly reduced the fan speed in 10% increments. Here the F14 started off at 57 degrees C with only 1 degree lead compared to the P14. Over time the lead became bigger and bigger, ending up with a 3 degree difference between the F14 and P14. Just as we did last time, we also measured the noise at every step of the way, resulting in this graph. The F14 is always able to provide a bit more air and keep everything cooler than its P-series counterpart. Here is also a side-to-side -side comparison.
And to my very surprise, the comparison between the F14 and P14 looks very different when looking at the smaller siblings. If you're on max performance, F14 is the way to go. But if you're looking for performance without hearing the fan, so this area here, it is also the F14. But for that whole part in the center, the P14 is the better option. Sounds quite complicated, I know, but to boil it down, the F14 has more advantages than a P14. That is, as long as the missing static pressure does not become an issue. Like inside of the Asa Hive case, with its very thin dust foam in the front, it's very much alright. Things like a thin layer of mesh are also okay. But as soon as you get to those really thick materials which just block a lot of air, or god forbid something like sound damping stuff, the benefit that made the F14 outperform the P14 will become smaller and smaller, resulting at, at some point the P14 taking over again. Though looking at all the PNF fans, the P12 PVM is still the leader in noise to performance overall. The price doesn't change it at all, just like the P and F12, the 140mm series are going for plus minus the same price, with some places even selling them underneath 7 euros, so in the end you can basically decide for yourself, slightly better noise to performance ratio, P14, if you have stuff blocking it, P14, and if you want max performance, F14. Okay, so this was my take on Arctic's F14 PVM PST. At this point I would like to thank Arctic for sending us over these fans. And if you don't know what to watch next, I will leave all of the other Arctic P and F series review all over the screen here. Of course I put all the manufacturing and affiliate links down in the description below, so if you want to check them out, there they are. Okay, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.